Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Sewn. Today we are going to be graphing square roots but with an inequality symbol. So let's get into it. So let's say we have y is less than the square root of x plus 3. So that would look like, so it would have a vertex of 0, positive 3. So it would be up here at 3. And it would be curving up. Before I curve up, because this does not have an equal to symbol, it is going to need to be a dotted line. Do, 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 do. Dotted line. So from here, you have to ask yourself, this is less than because it points to the left. If it points to the left and is less than, we need to shade down. And that is the graph. The graph is pretty easy to do, okay? Because you're really just graphing a normal square root, but then shading up or down and being careful that you graph a dotted line and not smudge the paper. It really bothered me there. Um, the domain and the range, you do have to think. Okay, for the domain, it's not that bad because it is limited right here. It doesn't go past that line, that line where the vertex is. So the domain is still relating to the zero, and it is x is greater than zero, not equal to because it didn't have the equal to symbol. Mm -hmm. So greater than zero, and the range is even more elusive because the range, the graph is going up. The graph would have said y is greater than 3. But the shading is going down. Well, if the graph goes up but the shading goes down, that covers everything. So that's all real numbers. In infinity form, it'd be negative infinity to positive infinity. And in the x is greater than 0 infinity form, it'd be from 0, not including it, to positive infinity. Okay, another one, let's do it. Let's say we have y is greater than or equal to the square root of x minus four. Let's go with the square root of x minus four. It would be, change the sign, keep the sign, four. Because there's an equal to symbol, we are going to have a solid line because it's positive in front, it curves up. Here, it says greater than or equal to. So here, we are going to be shading up because greater things are above. So let's do the domain and range this time. Well, the domain this time is going to be including the 4 because it is filled in at the 4. On the last one, it was dotted, so it was hollow at the 4. The range is going up for the black graph, but also shading up for the red shading. Well, if the shading is up and the graph is going up, then the range is just up. And the question is, what is it up from? Well, it is up from that y value of the vertex, vertex, which is zero. So it is going to be y is greater than or equal to zero, because in this case, again, it equals, because the equal to symbol, therefore, equals. So including zero to positive infinity, including 4 to positive infinity for the domain and the range of both. All right, we got one more, one more, and then we're done. Let's do one more. Here we go. All right, let's say we have y is less than a negative square root of x plus 1 minus 3. Change the sign, keep the sign, negative 1, comma, negative 3, negative 1, negative 3. This graph is going to go down because the negative symbol in front. And it should be dotted. If you ever make that mistake and you're writing in pen, you either start over or you write dotted. It should be dotted because it doesn't have the equal to symbol underneath. Which way should we shade? If it's less than, we should be shading down. And we have to ask ourselves now, what is the domain and what is the range? Well, the domain is going to be going to the right from the x value of negative 1. So it is going to be greater than negative 1, not equal to, because there's no equal to symbol. And even though this is saying less than, the x values are still going to the right. The range is relating to the y value, which is 
negative 3. And it is going down from the negative 3, so we are going to say less than negative 3, but not equal to negative 3 because, again, no equal to symbol. So negative 1 to positive infinity, and from negative infinity up until negative 3 for the domain and the range. That's going to do it for this one. See y'all later. Bye.